Okay. Beat him. I'm gonna show y'all bros on front. What's it up, baby? Y'all didn't know it is the big boss hog, boss dog, K Po, through the dope, here to talk this. Boxing, what's good with you? What's good with you? What's good with you? Remember, Tim Thompson don't last, good people do. And if you're having those thoughts, man, make sure you talk to somebody, man. Talk to the boss, talk to whoever. You know what I'm saying? You know, don't, don't off yourself. Anyway, let's talk about Eastside Pitbull Cruz versus Roly, the face off. Let me tell you something. That boy Eastside Pitbull Cruz look like he finna kill Roly, bro. <laughs> that's that, that's what I that's when I when I watch the face off. You know, I don't really try to gauge our face off, but the way he was looking at Roly, like I'm I'm gonna kill you, bro. Ain't nothing gonna stop me. Ain't nothing you could do to stop me. I'm gonna kill you. Like that's how he was looking, and I was like, I ain't gonna lie. I was like, man, <laughs> I got hype, bro. I said, man, this fight finna be fireworks, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's finna be fireworks. Now, I know a couple of people was like, man, I nah, got nah, Roly, yeah, 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 you know, Isak, what? Isak? Man, I'm telling you, this is one of them fights, bro. You got Roly who got power, right? He got power, you know, with his awkwardness. He's awkward, not gonna lie to you. And then you got Isak Pitbull Cruz who... He coming, bro. He coming with that Tyson style bobbing, weaving. He throwing. He don't care about nothing. He coming. He stepping. You know what I'm saying? He coming from 135. Does his power translate up? We gonna see. You know what I'm saying? Like styles gonna collide, bro. You know, I could be wrong, but I'm picking Eastside Pitbull Cruz. I think he got a little bit more skill than than Roley. Roley just awkward and he got power. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I think Isak will be able to be more fundamentally sound defensively, right, than Broly. And I don't mean, you know, people incorporate defense with only moving your feet, you know, head movement. I think Isak Pippa Cruz moves his head a little better than Broly. Broly be doing some weird stuff with his, you know, he, this right here, I don't, I don't know. That's too much movement. You making unnecessary movements, in my opinion. You know, you move as needed. You know what I'm saying? Like, you move as needed. You know, as you see the punch coming, move or, you know, hey, give him a little look, you know, but all this, this, that, that's too much movement to me, in my opinion. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's just my perspective. I don't, I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just saying it's too much more. I, but, and I think that's going to play into Eastside Pitbull hand. Eastside Pitbull Crew's hands, bro. That's just what it is. I think he's going to catch, buddy. Spark him. And it's going to be a good night for Roley. That's, that's what I believe. But, you know, I've been telling y'all about this man for the longest. That little dude can fight, bro. Like, he ain't, he don't be playing with people. He's stepping, bro. You feel me? He's stepping. He, he, he just that type of dude, bro. He ain't, he ain't trying to do nothing cute. He don't care. He, he's stepping. Ain't nothing you gonna be able to do to stop him. That's just what it is. I don't know you're gonna stop Isak as if you knock him out. That's the energy he come with, like, bet. So I'm very interested to see this fight and see who wins. Like I said, I'm picking Isak. I think Isak gonna get it done, and this is the thing. If Isak be rolling and get a belt, hmm, I already know Devin Haney gonna look at him like food. Devin Haney gonna look at Isak people Cruz like food. He gonna be like, man, yeah, let's make a fight with him. I'm telling you, that's going to be one of Devin's toughest fights of his life. That's all I'm saying. That's going to be one of the toughest fights of his life. Reason being, 
is because David Haney's style is tailor-made for Eastside Pitbull Crews. You can make the argument say the same thing for, you know, Eastside Pitbull Crews style is tailor-made for Devin. You can, you can say that. But the only pushback on that is the power. I think to be Eastside Pitbull Crews, you got to be able to stifle him with the power. You got to have a you got to have something to keep him off of you, right? You know, Tank was doing that for a little bit of the fight till he hurt his hand. You know, we'll see what Devin, you know, is everything. You know, and, and like I said, that's just like a, that's a fantasy fight. You know what I'm saying? I would, I would love to see Isaac Pitbull Cruz versus Devin Haney. I would love that fight. You know what I'm saying? I like to see Isaac Pitbull Cruz and Sibiru Matias. Oh, my God. But. <laughs> he talking about fireworks. But I think Sibria will, will get Eastside Pitbull Cruz. But this could open doors for Eastside Pitbull Cruz if he's victorious. If Roller is victorious, this could open doors for him too. I just don't know. You know, it's certain fights that he may not, if it makes sense, he, he may not be able to make. And the reason I say that is because of this. Mayweather Promotions, you know, they, with their fighters, they're in the best interest of their fighters, right? So they're not gonna sit there and do a business deal with another company that's trying to screw over their fighter. Like, they don't operate like that. You know what I mean? They don't, they don't do that. They don't sit there and be like, oh, yeah, blah. yeah, you know, we, you know, yeah, we'll send them to a top rank for, for and you can pay them a flat rate of one million. Nah, they ain't doing that. You know what I mean? They looking out for the best interest of their fighter. So when it come to Roley, you know, if he was to try to, you know, fight a Devin Haney, best believe Devin Haney, you know, it, the best believe Mary Promotion is gonna make sure Roley is compensated well. They're gonna make sure everything is is well. You feel me? And if, you know, they go to negotiations and stuff ain't right, like Floyd say, you don't want to fight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what the bug is down to. That's what the boy is down to. Floyd going to sit there and say, oh, you don't want to fight. You feel me? Man, that's just how the cookie crumbles. You know what I'm saying? So I'm very excited for the future, you know, when it comes to these two uh, fighters. You know, I want to see, you know, where they go. I think if Eastside Pitbull Cruz wins, he'll be able to do a little more because he signed the Pac-Man promotion, so he could literally go anywhere he want. But, you know, with Roley, it's more like like I said, Mayweather promotions, they're going to look out for their fighters. They're going to make sure it makes sense for their fighters. And they're going to probably, you know, if, if the money ain't right, you know what I'm saying? Then they ain't, they ain't doing business with nobody. <laughs> That's what it is. The money got to be right. You know? The money got to be right. And there's other aspects that plays a part. So, like I said, we shall see how this thing pans out. But that boy Eastside Pitbull Cruise look ready. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Bosco.